Hey, good afternoon, guys. We are here at Purden's Rental. They are located in Wood Hill, where they have put together the most magnificent tables. And we're talking royal wedding. Hey, can we put our own royal wedding together? Maybe if we don't have that royal budget. Mary Ellen is with us. And Mary Ellen, you guys have done this magnificent head table here, which may or may not, we're not sure that they're going to use turquoise for theirs, but right. beautiful jewel tones. Exactly. Yes, we're doing more of a modern look for the um, bride and groom. And uh, we did lots of color in the flowers, which they will probably just use some basic soft colors. And uh, we did a little bit of gold in it, not a lot. A lot, a big pop of it, which is very royal. And you, you ask what kind of food might be served for a royal wedding. <laughs> we have Diane with us from Type A Catering, and you've done your research on this. I have. I did. I read a little bit. So um, they're going to have a buffet with canapes. I a mean, buffet? Well, for the first reception, they're having 800 guests. And the, where they're having it is not set up to do a sit-down dinner. I suspect the more intimate dinner for 200 probably will be a very elegant plated affair, but the 800 when they feed the masses, they're supposed to have very traditional English appetizers and not only farm to table, but they have to source all the ingredients from the royal warrant holders, which are people that have basically done well enough that they are under the queen's toolage. Yeah, something like <laughs> that, right? It's something we don't always completely understand. Yeah. Becca Stivers is with us as well. Simply Done Invites. And Becca, I love what you've put together here as far as paper goods. And I mean, I can only imagine only a royal affair mm -hmm. could afford to do something like this. Well, this is actually a more modern option that anyone can afford. Oh, yeah. Um, we've kind of made these menus that are made out of acrylic. Um, and this this is a really good option for brides today. If they really want to make their head table a little more fancy, they can get, you know, 15 to 20 of these acrylics, set them on the plate, and then have the regular paper menus for the rest of the So guests. we can do that ourselves. We don't have to be one. Meghan Markle, Absolutely. right? I love that. And, and of course, the place cards and everything are just really something nice for your guests to have. Yes, again, it's all about the organization. It's as much information as you can tell your guests where they need to sit. It also helps the kitchen staff know um, what each guest is going to eat. Nice. And then we can't forget the royal cake. What are we serving up for that? It's supposed to be lemon and elderflower um, flavored. Normally it's a fruit cake, but they're also kind of turning it on its head and they're doing a more traditional wedding cake, but with um, fruit flavored Yumminess, right? Yes, yummy. <laughs> fruit flavored cake, just not a fruit cake. Get rid of the fruit cake. I don't blame them. Very cool thing. So you guys uh, can check out, put your own royal wedding together. They can help you. They got it all under one roof over here at Purton's located in Wood Hill. I'm Deanne Stevens out and about. I'm going to taste the fruit fruit cake or something like that. Not the fruit cake, the fruit flavored cake. <laughs> Back to you guys.